Hey everyone, it's Jared here, and you know, drumsticks are expensive. When I first started playing drums, I went to the music store, I saw the wall of sticks. Now students will go to a website and maybe see like a thousand different models of sticks, and you just wonder what to buy. What do you actually need for playing the drums? And it's really, really confusing. I wasted so much money over the years. And so we contacted some of our partners, um, in the industry and they sent us almost a thousand dollars worth of drumsticks and we're gonna test them all out in this video so hopefully next time you're shopping online or you're shopping in your local drum shop you are better educated and you can make a decision on what you need to buy to get your own unique sound on the drum set so let's get started okay so what do we have here I'm just gonna literally reach into the box and pick out whatever I find. I got my main man Tyson over there in the corner. He's gonna be giving me some information on what this, what the heck is this? <laughs> Shake and roll. And so I'm guessing these uh, golf balls uh, are meant for hitting the drum. Okay, so love them for the snare. Love the kind of chunky shaker sound they provide. When I went to the toms, I found there was very little next to no attack. Um, so I would have to really work with them to see how I could get more of a distinct note out of the drums. You know, it doesn't do much on the, the gong drum down here. So you're not gonna get a really aggressive sound in the cymbals. I think these sticks would be fantastic just for doing something that I was doing there. The weight on the middle of the stick is, is a really interesting feel, but it gives a nice response and bounce back off the head. So the shake and roll sticks from Headhunters, I'd say I'd give them around a seven out of 10. They're really fun to play, great response, but I don't find them that they'll be like, usable in a wide variety of musical situations as I would mostly play it on a singular surface. They don't really give any attack on the, on the cymbals or the toms, but very cool sticks and an interesting weight to them. Okay, next up, what do we got here? Promark Paul Wurtico Tubs. Tubs. I guess that's right there. It's can't it's hard to see at the logo. Promark Tubs. Tubes, right? It's tubes. 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 My, I, know, I know exactly what my kids would do with these. <laughs> Why can't we all just act like we're nine years old? Okay, that's cool. So you get some attack. I wonder if they're just gonna break. A little bit of a tube sound. Very, very interesting feel. I've never thought to cut PVC pipe and turn it into a drumstick, but this is a, <laughs> I wonder what they sell them for, right? It's one of these things where all you really did was cut plastic, uh, plastic tubing and put a, put a logo on it. Um, but I think it's a unique idea. And uh, I also think you could make them on your own, unless it's like some special type of, um, what would it be like, some special type of NASA grade plastic or whatever. Um, whether or not I would put these in my stick bag, you know, I have a smaller stick bag, I don't like to carry around tons of stuff. I don't think so. I think these would be great in more of a studio scenario as they don't, you know, you have more space in the studio and you can kind of try out different sounds. Um, when it comes to my rating, on, would I put these in my stick bag? I'd say like a five out of 10. I'm sure Paul Wurtico, uses them in a much more musical and interesting way. And uh, you know, for, for him, they probably are a 10 out of 10, but for me, I would say more of a five out of 10. So let's go on to the next one um, what do we got here. <clears throat> let's try, okay, these, we, we got these uh, crossovers to Headhunter drum set. These look like hot rods with some rubber up in the middle. And I guess this is for um, when you're doing rim shots or anything, maybe to protect the actual stick, because anyone who's bought these, you spent like 20, 30, 40 bucks on this stuff, and uh, they break pretty quickly. But actually, now looking at it, this is a real stick. 
right? Tyson's over there just like, come on, say it, say it. Notice it, notice it's a real stick. This is, so it's not hot rods all the way down. It's uh, only hot rods to, you know, halfway down this kind of shaft part, but um, the handle feels really, really good. Really, really good build quality. Let's try it out. Cool, and you can see I've already put some dents in there. And so you can imagine if the, you're using these, uh, I guess the, these dowels, these thinner dowels up top, and the hot rods, um, if you're using them here, you'd probably break them a lot easier. So I'm feeling nice attack, I'm feeling nice weight. You know, with these types of sticks, I like it when they feel more similar to like a normal stick because there's less, there's, it's not as hard to transition from one to the other. I also like the fact that I can do rim shots. I think the build quality is, quality is great. The, um, the weight is really, really good. Um, re a really nice idea. You know, I, I, I could see a lot of churches um, who, are, who are dealing with sound issues. The drummer's just naturally hitting too hard, especially on the cymbals, you know, the, the attack on a cymbal. You get that nice, soft kind of timbre. Really good stick, so I would give these uh, a nine out of 10, just because if, if I'm gonna give you a 10, you gotta be pretty dang good. Um, but yeah, these I'm gonna put over here. We're gonna uh, keep these in the old stick bag. So nine out of 10 for those uh, the headhunter sticks. Okay, next up. And you'll notice a lot of this stuff is Headhunters because Headhunters is a, it's a Canadian company, but they make a lot of the sticks for the other brands. And um, that's a company from what, what area? Eastern Canada. From Eastern Canada, and uh, and so you know, I believe he's a drummer, Dave Rundle, and he makes some really really good quality stuff. A lot of it's handmade, um, which is which is cool. And so, you know, a lot of these sticks you'll find variations of them from other companies, but uh, but we just got them all, a lot of them from Headhunters. So these are the the adjustable wand fat backbeat cymbal sound. So I'm guessing they're trying to get more of a cymbal sound from these. Wands, and you'll see that there's a, there's this plastic piece that I guess you know you're, you're going to get the similar kind of brush sound or the bl plastic sound on the on the drums and the cymbals. But if you want a little bit more attack, a little bit more cut, you can either flip the sticks over and use this side. That's what I'm guessing upon first look. But it looks like a little bit of a weird utensil. So, so that's the side with uh, without the plastic. Now let's flip them around. I'll flip both of them around to the hard rubber plastic side. Okay, interesting, really, really interesting. I find the, the, the weight to be a little bit on the top end of the stick, so when I'm playing, it's harder to mimic exactly what I'm used to doing with normal sticks. I like the thickness of the, the stroke when I hit the snare. I have other uh, blast sticks, and you know, they start fanning out, and they start, like, um, they're thi the, the, the actual pieces of plastic, I guess, are, are thinner. Um, these seem really, really durable, but I'd be interested to see how they like, look and sound after like six months of using them you know, a little bit every, every week. Um, great sticks when it comes to like, whether or not I'd put these in my stick bag, taking, me out, taking them out on the regular gig, uh, probably not so much. So I would say I'd give these around a 7 out of 10. But um, if you haven't tried blast sticks, just the normal ones without the rubber, you should because it, it provides a really, really cool sound. Okay, next up. We have a Splash Stick Heavy from Vader. Um, a thicker version of the popular Splash Stick for extra weight and durability for the heavier players. Okay, so, like I said earlier when we used these types of sticks, I bought these when I was younger, and literally the first time I played, 
I, I broke them, and I was so disappointed, so I start taping them. Now I have duct tape, and then the duct tape starts to kind of break apart, and then it gets sticky on the outside, and that stuff goes into your drums, and it's, it's disgusting. So um, new drummers are, are sold these a lot, especially to play in church or play in venues that want a quieter sound, but they don't, they're not always told about how much it's going to cost you to play sticks like this as opposed to just a wooden stick, right? So let's test them out. Let's see if they can actually hold up to a little bit of heavy hitting. Um, I know Vader is known for their durability with their sticks, and so I'm going to kind of put into a test, and you're going to see what comes out of it. And if they break, they break. So, good luck. thinks that they're still uh, they're still alive <laughs> who thinks that they're not dead <laughs> pretty crazy I was hitting it hard okay uh, pr probably almost as hard as I could hit and right here is where I see the most damage and I'm trying to feel inside if the wood is damaged I'm sure it's like dented but pretty good uh, I would say like I, I have to have one pair of these in my stick bag if I were to get them I wouldn't know if I'd get them this thick or with this thick of dowels, so personally, I don't know, but I would give this a seven out of 10. Really, really great stick. Durable, they hold up to heavy hitting. I like that the, the, the grip kind of goes up, you know, three quarters ways of the stick. Um, really, really good feeling, so let's move on. Next, we have some soft corn head hunters, and these just look like a witch's broom. Is that okay to say? Witch's broom? Should I fly away? That's on the internet forever now. <laughs> <laughs> the, things, the things that I've done online. It feels really, really light. I'm not even sure that you would play these on drums. This might be for like to play on a djembe or congas or a cajon or something like that. But I think you could like use these in many different places. They are soft corn, so it's probably meaning like they have more flex. Um, and you can probably get some of these that are a little bit more stiff. So let's hear how they sound. I'm gonna turn off the snares. Right away, you can hear a nice warm sound. A soft attack, almost like a, almost like a felt beater, right? Or those big, um, what are those beaters called? Those big beaters, like those puffy ones. Like a big mallet? Yeah, mallet oh, beater. Cool. They, they are really, really good feeling stick. Very nice, warm, light sounding stick. I think there's gonna be a lot of applications for this. I actually think I would like to have one of these uh, pairs of sticks in my stick bag. I found the handles a little bit big, but I could see how you maybe want that. Um, for me, I, I prefer just more of a similar handle to a normal stick. And I play like a 5A or 55A or, or 5B or something like that. These are huge, these are like, three S's, but really, really nice light stick. And uh, I'm gonna put this on the side of going in my stick bag. Um, so I'd give those around eight out of 10, okay? Really, really cool stick, nice work. You can't do blush does, but you can do brush does. <laughs> yeah, you can't do blush does, but you can do brush does. Thanks, Dave. Jingle sprints. I wonder how much these cost. It's probably on screen right now. I think it's, this is gonna go in, like, this is the most kooky the most kooky uh, sticks that I've seen. It's like, how does he even get all the parts for this? It's like a mad scientist of, uh, of drumsticks. So we have a jingle ring, two jingle rings on one side, uh, held on by this, whatever that is. And then we have a spring. I guess just to provide a different sound, and as well as maybe response. Um, this is just a soft piece of foam, and then we got just the normal handle. Let's try it. Oh, no, no, no. 
So I'm not going to do that. Yeah, so I wouldn't recommend hitting them on the, the plastic side. That is, uh, that's going to dent your heads. So I don't know, they sound interesting. So would I put these in my stew cake? No. Uh, what do I rate them out of 10? That's, for me, I would say they're more like a three. Again, somebody likes these and they're a 10 for someone else, but for me, they're a three. I would not keep them in my stick bag. So three out of 10, sorry, but all right, next up we have, oh my goodness. May I present to you my spy in the Ministry of Defense, Fat Bastard. The Fat Bastards, huge, fat sound, small bamboo rods bundled to form a fan. All right. Again, a more of a thicker handle, but it feels good. And Very nice. I'll give these 8 out of 10. I like them. I'm putting them aside that uh, I'm going to keep. Very, very nice. All right, next up we have the cornstalk material bundled soft drums sound with subtle cymbal definition. So it looks like what Headhunters is doing here is they're really uh, focusing on all the different you know, use cases that, that people are looking for um, when they are looking for a stick in all the different playing environments. And, and I think that's really cool to give drummers lots of different options. And the fact that they're handmade likely, ma likely makes it that uh, they don't have to do a million pairs in order to actually make it happen. So that's pretty cool. Look at this thick bundle, uh, really thick bundle that I imagine over time would kind of fan out, but you could kind of, you could drop the, um, the, the this kind of rubber elastic higher or lower based on how much more or less attack you wanted. Um, but yeah, nice weight to them. I'd say much heavier than a normal 5A stick, probably like 20 or 30% heavier than that. Um, but, it f but it feels good, so let me give it a whirl. You see, I don't know if you, if you all can see the, the dust flying up when I'm hitting stuff, but uh, I really like the feel of these. I feel like there's a lot of, um, like even though they have lots of flex, they still provide a really, really nice solid attack without feeling like they just mush away as soon as you hit the drums. So they're, they're stiff and solid enough. Overall, they're a little bit thick for me, but I think that's just part of the feel. If, if you like that, if, great. If not, then you get some of these that are thinner. I'm sure they have other ones that are thinner. But really, really nice pair of sticks. Um, I would give this a 7 out of 10. I'm not going to keep them in my stick bag. I think they take up a ton of room, and I think there's other sticks that do a similar thing, but they're really, really nice. So let's, like, right away test a Promark version of the, the exact same sticks I tried right there. Do you know if they make them? Headhunters make them? They don't make the Promark version. Promark so, makes their own version, yeah. Promark makes their own version. Um, and you can see the difference there. I feel like the, the handle is a little bit squishier overall. Um, the elastic is thicker, but the type of material feels similar. This is a medium, so I, I'm assuming those would be large, and, and this is kind of on the smaller scale, so it's not going to be a completely apples to apples comparison. But they feel a lot lighter. Like, not just by a small margin either. Like, this, this one almost feels half the weight of this one. But let's give it a whirl.
nice. I actually like the heavier ones better. I find that they provide more rebound and response. The weight of these, it, it just makes it feel feel too different from a normal stick. So again, we're talking about transferring from a normal stick that you're used to, to something like a weird kind of auxiliary stick. Cool stick, um, I would say I'd prefer the, the thicker ones, the Headhunters ones, so I'd give these around a five out of 10. But again, depending on the price, you might, whether these are cheaper or more expensive, I'm not sure, you might decide to go with the Promarks. So next up, let's try uh, Promark brushes. These just look like your standard steel heavy brushes. And they have a bunch of different kinds you can get. And so if you're looking for brushes, you need to just try a bunch. Um, full disclosure, I am not a good brush player. So I'm going to embarrass myself. Uh, brushes have a good rubber handle on them. Standard wire brushes you pull back, push out. You can put them at different parts. They have, looks like they have one, two, three, four different types of settings. And you can kind of feel that as you you pull the, 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 this big uh, piece of metal out the back. So let's give it a whirl. Terrible, terrible brushes. Uh, seems like a good brush, and I, I, I think there's, this is like one thing that every stick company, if they don't have a good brush, I think they'd be in trouble, because I think it's one of these sticks, it's kind of like a staple that you gotta have in your stick bag. Uh, for me, I think these brushes are great. So from that standpoint, I'm gonna give them an eight out of 10. Um, whether I would choose heavy or not, I think I would like something with a little bit more flex, but there's a, a really, really well-made brush. Okay, going back to something a little bit stranger, we got the Castaways by Headhunter, and uh, these look similar to some of the older sticks, the other sticks we've tried, but let's see if they're actually the same. It's like they got these clapper things. This is like the Hungry Hippo things. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh! So you, if, I, if you do 16th notes, you're going to kind of get that. Halfway up the shaft, see the black thing? This? Or this? Yeah, those ones. Those should be a little bit adjustable. Do they pull up and down? Some of them yeah, do. they pull up and down. Yeah, so you can adjust. Those will be like attack points on the cymbals. Okay. Right? So, so let's put these to the top. Pretty cool, I'd say like creativity, uniqueness, this is a 10. Whether or not I'm gonna put it in my stick bag, I, I'm not gonna put it in my stick bag, it's, it's just a little bit too, uh, like I, I might never ever use it, and so I'm carrying it around for, for years and years. So for me, I'm gonna give it like a seven out of 10, but, uh, but if you're looking for creativeness and uniqueness, you know, if we're doing it on many different scales, like it's, it's pretty cool, let's do a 10. All right, so, so these are brooms mixed with mixed with this kind of black stick, and then we got this white ball on it. Now what are these called? Soft corn with a hard twist. Okay, this is the hard twist. <laughs> So you got this material, the, the, the broomstick material, and then this thing right there. I bet you can move that as well. Oh, that's cool. Really, 
really cool stick. I'm keeping these. I'm gonna give it a nine out of 10 just because I, I, I love the feel and the fact that it's pretty much like two, three, four, five sticks all in one. So nice work there. Uh, next up we have a set of T5 Vader mallets. Mallets are something that over the years I've had like a love hate with because every time I get them I find that they eventually kind of break apart up here and they slowly will, will peel away until you're, yeah, these are already doing it, until basically it's just you're left with whatever was underneath this. And so as I play them, I'm sure they're going to start to fluff up and things like that. But a nice set of mallets, mallets is a must. And primarily use mallets for the cymbals. carried away there. But it's been a while since I've played with mallets on the actual kit. And so I wanted to do that, one of the reasons why I wanted to do that, and Ross, zoom in on that, and you'll see exactly what happens. When you really kind of bash around with these, and over time, that fur, just like, you know, you gotta almost like brush it like you brush your dog, um, it's eventually gonna wear away and then the mallets won't be useful anymore. So you can get different types of mallets, ones that are more woven, ones that aren't like this, that kind of wear away, but these provide a really, really great sound. You heard them on the cymbals, you heard them on the drums. Really good to have in studio and kind of a staple that you gotta have in your stick bag. And my last pair of mallets are broken, so I'm keeping these. Good mallets, good execution uh, by Vader. I'll give those a 10 because because I think they're, they're uh, a great set of mallets. Okay, so next up we have the Headhunters crossovers. Beads for subtle cymbal definition and slight volume. The single pair of jingle is positioned for maximum play and volume. Extreme finesse and articulation. Interesting. Okay, so you know, remember the last time we had this? You gotta make sure that this isn't bashing into the drums because that's uh, this is now metal. The last one was plastic. So thinking about that metal hitting the, the head, it could, it could rip through it depending on how hard you're hitting. We got the, the wood here rather than the plastic material. So how he's putting this all together and, and whatever he's doing, gluing it or some magical like welding formula, it's, it's, a, it's, it's like a bit of a mad scientist over there. I'd love to, I'd love to see his lab. Yeah. Um, but maximal articulation and definition, okay? So I'm gonna start just from the snare drum. And it does look like you can adjust this. I won't. Really cool. I, I'd, be, I, I'd be worried about hitting that, and it did leave more marks on my snare. So with this type of stuff, I'm playing aggressively. I'm trying to get a feel for these, uh, this type of creation really, really quickly. Um, and I might be even using it incorrectly. And so that, that's probably the case when I'm bashing it here on my snare drum. So you know, if you get these, don't just wail away and let the stick you know, rip up the drum. But that's what's going to happen if you scrape metal over. Uh, a mylar head like that. So 
it's a really, really cool, cool stick though. I love the jingles. I think there's a, an application there. I wouldn't keep these in my stick bag just because I don't think I have enough uses for them. But if you play in a band and there's specific songs that, that these are needed on, I love that, the attack, when they talk about articulation uh, and definition. Uh, good sticks, I would give them an eight out of 10, uh, but I'm not gonna put them in my stick bag. Okay, next up I have these poly rods in wood handle, three strands of movable beads positioned at strategic locations to uh, help symbol focus. Now these look similar, I used broomsticks before, and it looks very similar to that, although these have black sticks all the way down, so there's a lot more flex there. Let me just quickly give these a shot. There's actually metal here. So re really nice uh, feel. I like the fact that you can move these to kind of change the attack of the symbol. They feel super durable with, uh, with metal and um, there, there's flex there, but it still feels like they're, they're really, really well made. And so uh, love these sticks. So these are the Cattails Headhunters. I would give these an, an eight out of 10. This is definitely something that's compact that you can throw in your stick bag. I'm gonna put it in mine. Okay, next up we got a set of Vader sticks. These are splash stick light, okay? So I'm not gonna put these to the test. We used heavyweights before. These are similar to the heavyweights, except they're not heavyweight, they're for hitting lightly, okay? So play softly. Nice light sound, you can play some really intricate, cool patterns, but at a lower volume. So I, I love these, I think these are worth it to have in your stick bag. I'll give those uh, an eight out of 10. And I know I'm burning through some of these faster, but a lot of them are similar. Um, but, but depending on how you're planning on using them, that's what will change. And so, similar to the heavy weights, these look like more of a medium sized dowel and weight, but a really, really nice feel, very similar to like a 5A or a 5B thickness. So you still get lots of attack on the cymbals, you still get lots of attack on the, the drums and, and the snare, but overall it feels a bit thinner. Um, it's harder to play louder, which I think is one of the purposes, but you can still hit really loud with these. It's just a matter of how long you want them to last. But I would choose these over the heavyweights because I'm not looking to bash with a set of these and I don't mind kind of the light sound. And so of all of the hot rods I've tried so far, um, these would be the ones that I like the most. And so these are called the Splash Rock. Really, really nice set of uh, hot rods with those. Okay, here we have a set of Headhunters 25 millimeter percussion mallets. Okay, so talking about mallets earlier, we talked about this part kind of fluffing up. And now these actually don't look like they pill or will kind of like wear away. I haven't tried them out for very long, but um, the weight feels really, really interesting. And the taper, if you see, it stays similar, but just slightly tapers at the top of the stick. Uh, and they have a really, really cool look. So let's try it. nice set of mallets. Honestly, very, very nice set of mallets. Um, I really like the smaller tip on these. So I'd recommend these from a set of mallets. I know I think I gave the last ones a 10, but I would also give these a 10. Great set. Um, okay, bizarre. 
pair of sticks here. Four holes in maple slat flanked by two polycarbonate sheets produce a loud clap sound. So maybe these aren't even for hitting the drums. I honestly, I don't know. Ross gave me a just normal stick. I'm gonna play this in my right hand. Interesting, honestly. Uh, how many people are really going to use these? Let's be realistic. I, I don't know. I think, again, for a studio, it's great. For me, I'm, I'm not really interested uh, in having those in my stick bag. I'd give them around a three. But if, to have them in the studio is, is well worth it. Uh, next one, we got finger flips. So fingers produce quiet sound in flat position. Finger snap sound, vertical plane, louder, more aggressive sound. Interesting. I think I'd like to see someone who invented these play them to show me what they expected to do with them. Uh, to me, it's, it's a little bit too weird. Uh, I don't actually don't know how, how or where I would use them, but there might be an application for them. But finger flips, again, a little bit, a little bit strange, similar to the clap sticks. I would give them a three. Not, not for me, but pretty cool. Okay, so stingers from Headhunters. Foam core surrounded by 11 bamboo dowels. Foam core provided bounce and impact. Uh, interesting. So we'll see what that actually changes with the feel of the stick. Okay, so normally these are just like bundles of dowels, and here we actually have that foam core in the middle. And it looks like the rest of the construction is, is pretty standard. Overall, nice sounding hot rod. I, I don't feel much of a difference with the foam core, but I bet you if I A-B'd them back and forth, I'd probably have a different uh, point of view. But really, really nice set of light kind of uh, hot rods. So I give these a seven out of 10. Nice job. Okay, here's another bizarre, fiercely creative uh, set of sticks. Let's see what we got. Okay, so similarly to the clap ones we had before, these just look like a slightly different sound. These ones are really, really flapping there. You know, they're, very, they're, they're so similar to the other ones, which are in the pile of stuff. But um, these actually have a little, I don't know if you can see that there, just a little round bead and that's what's providing that sound. Interesting feel. I think you could use it with one hand and play a normal stick in the other. Um, I preferred some of the other variations of that, especially like I think the first stick I tried with the shaker was cool. Uh, here are the Vader Monster Brush. So a versatile specialty brush that can be adjusted to provide the subtlety and swish of a brush or stick-like feel for flat backbeat. Features a large but comfortable grip and a wavy polymer strands for a unique sound and feel. All right, look at that, matches. Oh, they're super flexy, look at that. Interesting. Similar 
similar to the, the brushes, like the broom brushes we were using before, uh, but I think you can pop these things down and then they're gonna fan out quite a bit more. Look at that. Nice, nice sounding uh, brushes and they look cool. And it's a very different feel. If you can try these out before you buy them, I'd recommend it. I'm actually gonna keep put them in my keep pile because I actually like the way they feel. Here's another pair of polycarbonate slat with a textured soft surrounding material, create a finger snap, finger snap and vinyl scratch sound. So I guess they're trying to emulate um, sounds that are made by people. hard to keep that going. I really don't get it. I'm not even going to rate them. <laughs> I'm sure they work for someone. Uh, these are the splash stick, which is very similar to what I've tried before. We've tested these out. These are made by Vader. So I think I put a set of these on the sides. I might have actually tried them, but, um, or maybe the Splash Rock, which had thicker dowels. That's what it was. And so these have thinner dowels than the previous stick I tried, which is just gonna give you an overall different sound. Um, it's gonna, these are gonna fan out more when you hit the drum. So I think you're gonna get a little bit thicker of a sound as opposed to with the, with the harder, more stiff dowels, you get a thinner sound. Nice work. Then we have the, the Stingers by Hand Hunter, foam core surrounded by 12 birch dowels. Okay, so similarly to before, we tried a, a thinner set of sticks like this with that foam dowel insert. Again, just to pr provide you with a little bit more response and bounce. You know, and I, I said I couldn't feel it with the previous ones, but if I just do like a normal kind of medium full stroke roll, Quite a good response. Very cool. So uh, I'm going to give those 10. I'm going to keep those. I like to actually like the thickness of them. Next, we have a Veda Percussion Acoustic. Combines seven high quality wood dowels and six strips of resistant polymer. The polymer acts as a protective layer to allow the player to dig in without the short lifespan of other. So these, again, are meant to be strong. Let's see if they hold up. You got your earplugs in, Rob? One casualty, the first casualty of our, uh, uh, of this actual session, which is interesting. Um, now, the, the way I was playing them, you can't expect them not to break there. I was seeing how much you could actually push it. Um, you'll see even on the stick here, I don't know if you can see in the camera, how hard I was hitting. Now, if you actually wanted to produce that much volume, the sound is not gonna be different between this and, and an actual wooden stick at that level of playing, but, if you do hit that hard, you are gonna break something. But the, uh, it's interesting. For me, I'm gonna give those a six because they, uh, a dowel broke when I was doing it. Okay, a smaller than the splash stick, so this is more of like a jazz, I guess a jazz. Um, 
hot rod, very thin. But all, all, overall, very, very similar. You'll, you'll notice the little bit thicker dowels, it's gonna give a really thin sound. So for me, I don't really ever use this, this kind of stuff, but some people like it. I, I'll give it a six out of 10. Next, we have the Splash Stick Traditional, the ultimate traditional style multi-dowel stick, 19 hand-selected birch, hand-selected birch dowels. Look at that. These, I actually prefer these, the thinner dowels. Very nice sticks. Just a, just a nice, uh, a nice execution on one of these hot rods. And if you personally, I like the thinner dowels, like I said. But you, I, I really recommend you try the different feels, just so you can get a sense for what you like, and especially like your playing environment specifically. Uh, we have the the bamboo splash stick slim, smaller diameter. This is this is smaller than a 7A ultra low volume playing. Okay, so ultra low volume playing. Look how thin that is. falling out of my hands, that's how thin they are. Really interesting. Uh, I wouldn't have a use for them, but I'm sure some people have them. Okay, uh, let's try. Next we have the, the Ninja Tip 2, designed and intended for quiet playing polycarbon fitted rod into a 2B nylon tip maple platform. Massive rebound, roll back the black Ninja tubing to expose the nylon tip to increase attack. Okay, so that's in, very interesting at the top here. We just have this fully nylon. So much rebound, and I guess you can roll this back to expose that tip even more. Really thin sound. Almost like it's got a phase on it. But with this wood, you could actually do rim shots. A bit surprised. I actually really like the wood here and the ability to switch between playing this um, or this, the rubber, and then just the tip. Right? Or the rubber. Or the wood. Versatile stick, I'm actually, I think it's ridiculous looking, this thing at the top. There's gotta be a better way or just make it shorter. I might cut that off. But uh, I would give it uh, a nine out of 10. I think it's pretty cool. The, the echo ball, special effects echo ball for eerie cymbal sounds. So you know, maybe someone's doing like TV shows or like horror movies and they need to do like their sound design and they use something like this. And you might've seen this before. And basically this is going to mimic what I was doing with my hand. In a much better and more focused way. Yeah, super cool sound. So it does what it says. Uh, if you wanna buy a pair of sticks just to do that, if you're doing recordings and you're, you're in the studio and you need that, uh, I think that'd be the, pretty much the only solution out there for that sort of thing. 
Next we have the flexible thin high impact material. These are beaver tails. Play flat, got multiple rebounds or aggressive slap sound or play the vertical edge, more singular note definition. Interesting, so I guess you can play this way. Or this way. So I'll play uh, this way on the snare, flat and vertically on the ride. For me, I think there's been, like, I'm now into this, like, I don't know how many sticks I've tried. Has anyone been counting? It's probably like 30 different pairs. Compared to the other th ways I could get a very similar sound, I'm not sure I would use these, but um, it's, a, it's kind of a, a unique, unique sound and feel. I'd give those a, a 7 out of 10. Next we have the Cyclops, adjustable single center, sing, single center rod and bead. Unbelievable bounce. Unbelievable bounce, they say. Well, I guess so that right here, this rod, is meant so when you play the brushes, you get some actual response. And it is true, you get quite a lot of rebound. But their sticks are constantly turning in my hand. I don't know, it seems like they're constantly turning and I'm not gonna get a really consistent sound. So for me, it's, it's, uh, it's not really something I would use. Interesting sound, I'd give them a six out of 10. Nice. Okay, here we have Dream Catchers, braided stainless wire, nylon coated adjustable hoop, heavy duty, huge fat backbeat with solid cymbal sound. And, uh, Tyson informed me that you can actually move this red piece in and out to make that dream catcher bigger or smaller. Let's put it all the way out. And this again is gonna just give us more symbol definition. Interesting execution, very similar to the other ones I tried. I actually forget what I gave the other ones, but I'm gonna go ahead and give these a, a six. I just don't see it as much. I think someone else would love to play these and they know exactly what to do with them. Me, I'm a little bit lost. All right, next we have the Bing Bongs, black and clear polypropylene rods and double cut center rod. Fantastic bounce, subtle sound. We, okay, so this is kind of like plastic with wood in between. Nice, I'll give these an eight. I'm gonna put those in my stick bag. Here we have a bamboo splash stick. So we've tried lots of similar stuff to this. I think we might have even tried these. So these are just a standard pair of hot rods. They're great. Come on, we don't need to review those. This is getting, this is getting a bit ridiculous at this point in the video. Uh, now we have Rhino adjustable center rods. Excellent for sound effects. I know a lot of you are watching this, you're like, oh my, he doesn't know how to use any of these things. What's he doing? So similar to the last ones that we tried where this rod moves in and out. Yeah, I don't know. I think I gave the last ones a five or a six. I do these the same. You know, after a while, the, they start blending together. <laughs> I can see why people get so confused. Uh, these are the crossovers too. So I tried ones like this, but they, these might be a little bit thinner or they might actually be similar. 
But again, they have the wood, they have some rubber, and they have the, uh, the adjustable plastic up here, and you can change the, the position of these, um, these pieces of plastic. Kind of a, <laughs> a bad example, but really nice sticks. I think I gave the last ones like a seven or eight. Um, drum claps, we've tried these, have we not? Have we not tried these? Yeah, so these, these are drum claps. They seem a little bit lighter than the previous ones we've tried, and I think they have more holes in them. Interesting, but really not for me. I think I gave the last ones a three. Uh, so, someone's gonna love those. Someone is gonna love those. And I know uh, I'm not trying to like just bash something, but I just think for me, I'm, I'm not gonna ever use that. But tublets, tublets? So polycarbonate two fitted onto a hickory stick, huge rebound, large dynamic range, extremely fast playing. So. Okay, really, really, really responsive, and they sound good. So I would, I would actually uh, keep these. So I was gonna give those an eight. Ooh, that box is done. So we have our Vader brushes, and these are the wiretap retractable brushes. So I tried, I tried Promark ones like these, and these are essentially very, very similar. Do they have four zones? Three zones, maybe. One, two, three zones. And again, just looks like a standard, a standard wire brush, which I think every drummer should have, even though I've really never learned to play with brushes really, really well. But they seem like a, a really good brush. And finally, we've tried one similar, the Acoustic Solid Vas, a cross-cut hickory stick with high-impact protective strips. Okay, we tried one of these uh, earlier, and this looks like just a thinner version of that. They feel great, but uh, again, there's been so much that are s similar to this. I, don't, I wouldn't choose these over a set of hot rods. I, I would prefer the hot rods. I don't really like the sound of the plastic on the drums. I prefer the sound of a, like a wood stick or something. I've never been like a nylon tip um, guy, but they sound good, so I'd give those an eight out of 10. And that is it. Woo! What a marathon. Okay, we've been filming for an hour and a half straight and I've gone through all these sticks. I, if you're still here, bless your soul, uh, I thank you so very much for joining us for this video. This has been really, really fun. Big thanks to Headhunters. Um, I know I, I didn't always review every stick accurately. I probably didn't even try all of them and use them in the correct way, but I'm just trying to give my first impressions. But you guys make some fantastic products, uh, and I'm really, really honored to try them. Promark sent some stuff. Thank you very much. Vader, you guys are awesome. Alan, Chad, and everyone at Vader, you guys are the best. Um, we're going to be working a lot more with you in the future over there. And so we really, really appreciate all of your support. But biggest thanks to you, the community. Thank you for watching this. I hope it provided some insight into what type of sticks you should get. You know, we, we have wood sticks, and I know that I've had videos on how to choose a type of stick that you can use for your, your everyday stick, whether it's a 5A, 5B, 7A, um, 2B, and different types of tips there. So we have other videos on that you're welcome to check out. This was more to discuss some of these weirder type of uh, sticks, some, some sticks that are more unique that can give you your own unique sound. And I know this was a really confusing point for me back when I first started. And so I just wanted to create this video to give you a little insight into what I look for in this kind of stuff. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.